Hello everybody, I would like to give you some update on my Venom build. As I mentioned last week, I decided to change motherboards from Gigabyte to MSI. And this short video, I would like to explain why I'm doing this. So it won't be exactly a review for MSI motherboard, but I just would like to let you know why I think it's a little bit better than Gigabyte for my particular project. Well, some of you might say that a comparison between two boards is not really apples to apples because one is the gamer oriented and other in what uh, overclocker oriented. That's true, but at the same time, I would like to point you that a number of features of X Power uh, board is actually appealing for normal user who is not particularly looking for overclocking features only. First things, what when I was really skeptical about Gigabyte was the fact that it has very limited number of um, RAM slots. You have only four. And for anybody who use a memory hungry application, such as video editing, amount of RAM is, is critical. So with this board, I'll get double of the banks for the memory. And uh, that makes this board much more interesting product than, than Gigabyte. Second reason that is, uh, it's maybe not valid for everybody or applicable for everybody. But to be honest with you, I thought I will like it more, but I still think that the board entire design is quite cheesy. And although it will be covered with a lot of hardware in the end, it's still a little bit bothering me on the back of my mind. So like looking on MSI, I think the design is uh, much more appealing. Also, also have the seams of guns and bullets. So it's kind of the same, but at the same time, I think execution was done on uh, much more tasty levels than um, gigabyte which is like a little bit like a toyish looks but again I don't push this point too much because it's um, in the eye of beholder another couple options that I really enjoy to have on MSI board is the fact that it has power button right on on the motherboard so when you work with a computer assembling it it's actually a little bit more handy than uh, go and reach a power button on your computer case you might even don't have all cables actually connected at this point so it's quite handy another thing that it has but obviously it not coming with a gigabyte that you have a OC buttons you can play with overclocking so this additional benefit sometimes I use those so I actually enjoy to have those buttons as an additional bonus Although it was prerequisite for in my particular case. Another interesting feature that I might try to use in the future, you actually can shut down a certain PCI slots with a, with a jumper on, a, on the bottom of the board. So again, if you want to play with uh, overclocking your uh, GPUs, that uh, feature can be handy and can work with the particular cards uh, only by your selection. And of course, because overclocking um, type of, of MSI board, you have more power coming all over the place and uh, again so if you want to play with this you have it another uh, feature that i really like on this board that has two ethernet ports so if you want to connect any additional networking equipment to configure it you can do it without disconnecting computer from the internet um, additional benefit for me is the fact that i use such a huge case a big devil the form factor of Excel ATX of MSI board will play a little bit better than a smaller a gigabyte board, which is looks really tiny in this particular case. And uh, it's play off pretty well. Um, another huge advantage for me personally is the fact that I couldn't find any water cooling solution for gigabyte board for the longest time, but XSPC just released a water block that will work with uh, MSI board, so I can water cool uh, entire board with this uh, particular product. So I will have a block on, on the board itself, memory and CPU. So it will be quite challenging type of uh, uh, build, which I really like and um, I'd like to see how it will fare out with uh, so many blocks installed on, on this particular board, which will be one, two, three, four, five, five, ten connections which is pretty crazy so we'll figure out how that will go what else your shield on this board is black so which is will be also pretty nice you don't need to modify it anywhere uh, still have led 
uh, debug screen, which is sometimes uh, also pretty good. Then you uh, start computer, so you can see right away what's going on. And uh, that obviously this feature is not present on a gaming motherboard. Interesting feature, I don't know. I don't think it's, it is here again because it's water. Uh, is this uh, sorry? Overclock oriented motherboard has CPU protection. So if the whole thing uh, goes really high, like 110 degrees, if I'm not mistaken, the board will be shut down, which is not bad feature for water coolers because let's say your pump failed or you have a leak or any kind of problem, which which rare when, but it still might happen then the board will be shut down if your CPU were overheat because of any problems with the hardware. That's basically all the reasons why I decide to go through a different product and uh, ditch this one and shell another $400 for a uh, new board. But I think it's a right decision for me and uh, now I would like to power board just to see that it's post because it's way too much work to remove heat sinks, install everything and then figure out that it potentially might have any problems, hopefully not. And um, now in next video I will try to show you what was, would be my solution for connecting all uh, five blocks together because you actually can do it in advance outside of the case which will be more easier to work with. Thank you for watching and I will come back with update uh, Maybe this, maybe next week. We'll see.